There is liftoff for the Artemis mission. The NASA craft took flight in the early hours of this morning after months of anticipation and delays. This is a test flight without astronauts, but it does represent a first step in NASA's plan to build a lasting presence on the moon and a step towards future voyages to Mars. Well, earlier, my colleague Delano D'Souza spoke to our science expert, Shirley Sitbon, about the mission. Before liftoff, there were some issues to resolve, but that's just normal for these missions. They're very complex. There was this fuel leak uh, that was resolved by technicians who were experts in this field, and they've been working for this day for years and even decades, and they were very excited to resolve this issue. And then there was a radar supposed to monitor the flight route uh, that was dysfunctional, and then it was fine, it was fixed. and. It, there was takeoff. And as we can see the images behind me, uh, well, uh, everything went according to plan. You know that this is a special, the most powerful rocket ever sent. Its engines are the most powerful engines ever used. No, it's the best of the best, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the most powerful, um, because they will send, of course, men back to the moon, and also a, a woman, apparently, eventually, in the third mission. Uh, and uh, so it's left. They've all separated since. Quickly, uh, the main engines and the boosters fell off, and then the core of the rocket. And let's see the next image, something else uh, that was that about 90 minutes later uh, also separated. It's um, this thing there, ICPS. This is a sort of propeller, and it propelled the rest of the rocket very strongly. It pushed it out of the Earth's orbit. Let's look at the route uh, the, the rocket will take now, because now that it's been pushed, it's moonbound, and it will uh, leave uh, the Earth's orbit, go straight to the moon, uh, uh, and, as you can see, we'll fly around the moon several times. And once it conducted all of its experiments, it will go back to Earth. And, of course, this is an extremely important mission because it has it's a test flight. This is unmanned, unmanned. as you've said. Yeah. But next time, there will be people on board, astronauts. So the most important part is this thing here. At the, the front of the capsule, there's a heat shield because when this capsule will come back to Earth, it will fly at... 40,000 kilometers per hour and will reach a temperature of more than 2,600 degrees right outside because it's so fast. So the shield needs to be very strong and this is well, this will test it. And there were many sensors and captures inside on the mannequins inside to make sure that astronauts can do this next time.